So the first one is about keeping positive. Now, our Prophet وسلم, he told us that there is no such thing as طيرة, which means superstition. This hadith is authentic. But he said, الفأل, But the best part of being superstitious is to be optimistic, meaning hopeful and optimistic about the future. And also, the Prophet وسلم, told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أنا عند الظني عبدي به. I am as my servant assumes of me or thinks of me. If he thinks of me as good, then I will respond to him with goodness. Which subhanAllah tells us that as a Muslim, we should always be very positive about the outlook of our life, even if we are surrounded by difficulty. And if you think about that, the Prophet ﷺ, he faced the most difficulty throughout his life. I mean, when he was born, he was born and his father passed away. And then when he's six years old, his mother passes away. And then his grandfather who took care of him for a few years, he passes away. So in his youth, in his childhood, he's seen so much difficulty and adversity. And then when he becomes a prophet, his life gets turned upside down. And some of his family members turn against him. He sees some of his followers lose their lives. Meaning every stage of his life, he's facing difficulty. And yet, despite all the difficulty, he is the one who said, be optimistic. And subhanAllah, if you look at the end of the life of the Prophet it was a, a happy ending. You know, the place that kicked him out, Makkah al-Mukarramah, he comes back to at the head of an army of 10,000 to liberate it, take out the idols, to restore the house of Allah to its one, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And ultimately, the whole of the Arabian Peninsula becomes Muslim. And today, alhamdulillah, in the 21st century, we too share the faith that the Prophet was sent with. Alhamdulillah. So be positive even in these difficult times. Now, somebody may say, okay, so give me some practical tips. How can I be positive? Well, the first way to be positive for yourself and your family is not to keep on watching the news updates. We have a 24-hour news cycle and all the time we are hearing different pieces of news coming about Spain and Italy and the death toll and the way the NHS is you know, on the brink of collapse. Sometimes you hear these kinds of things. Plus all the fake news and all the WhatsApp forward messages, some of which are completely fabricated. Others, you know, we don't know what to make of. Take a break from that. Tell yourself, you know what, I'm not going to watch the news for a good few hours. I'm not going to read any WhatsApp messages about this. I'm going to free my mind to think about other things, to focus on other things. The breaking up... Um, you know, breaking up the cycle of news and updates throughout the day in small doses, inshallah, will help you keep positive. This is the first practical step. Uh, the second is a spiritual one, which is think about all the times in your life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He protected you from a similar harm. So today we're facing the harm of the COVID-19 coronavirus. But the world has faced many pandemics before. We had the Spanish flu, uh, we had the SARS, MERS, all these different types of viruses, and I'm sure many of you watching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He protected you from that, didn't He? So when you look at your past, Allah, you saved me from so many similar harms. Why do I think you will fail me in the future? Yeah? So this is how you are positive about the future. You remind yourself. And even in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the Prophet ﷺ, didn't we find you as an orphan child and we sheltered you? Allah is saying, when you were a young boy, you know, I looked after you. When your mom and dad were taken out of the picture, I was still taking care of you. And look at who you are now. So why then do you look at the future and think that, you know what, you won't get the same protection, the same gifts, the same blessings? Allahu Akbar. So the second practical tip is, to yourself and your children that you know what think about a time where Allah protected us from a similar harm and inshallah Allah will do the same going forward the third and final one is to raise your hands not to wash them because we know washing is important but to raise them in order to seek Allah's help and assistance make a lot of dua especially if you can in the last portion of the night if not between the adhan and iqama which I'll get to later on about praying together as a congregational prayer in the home. And generally speaking, whenever you can, just to sit and to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you make dua, when you keep asking Allah, beseeching Allah, thinking about Allah, you end up you know, increasing your positivity because you're like, I'm speaking to Allah, I know he's going to help me, I've asked him to help me, I've beseeched him, I've cried to him. 
And so what that does is you leave the dua feeling more hopeful, isn't it? You leave the dua feeling more hopeful. And this is what we want in these difficult times is to be positive. So three practical steps, uh, pre the three practical steps again are number one, to cut down on the news. Number two, to think about times where Allah protected you and then be hopeful about the future. And number three, to make a lot of dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us positive and lift our spirits in these difficult times. Allahumma ameen. Oh.